What is a featured image? Well, it's probably exactly what you're thinking. We're going to imagine your blog post is a book. The featured image is that eye-catching front page. Yes, all right, we say don't judge a book by its cover, but I guarantee you your website visitors are judging your blog posts by their featured images. You might have a great title, but you need that captivating image to just let people know a little bit more about what your blog post is about. Featured images are also important when you share your blogs to social media because that is the image that's going to get shown. So you wanna make sure that it's something eye-catching, attention-grabbing, and it's gonna drive people to read your blog. And we don't wanna to get too technical, but a featured image, a good featured image, can actually help improve your SEO. Search engines often use featured images in search results. So a good one that stands out is really going to help you a lot and it's gonna drive more clicks. That's gonna help your SEO further and obviously more traffic to your blog. It's like a win, 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 win circle. If you're here learning about featured images, you are obviously trying to make the best possible website for you or your business and really get more eyes on your product. And one of the best ways to do that is with a really professional, highly customized website. So I absolutely have to recommend checking out WP Beginners Professional Services. They can build you a website from scratch or update one that you've already got. Either way, making it the absolute perfect website for you in order to grow your business or your blog. The even better news is that adding a featured image is also really easy. I'll walk you through it step by step. Firstly, you're gonna open your post editor. This is where you write your blog posts. If you look to the right sidebar, you'll see a section called Featured Image. You can click Set Featured Image, and this is gonna open your media library, where, of course, you're gonna be able to choose an image. You're gonna upload or select an image, so that means you can obviously upload an image from your computer, or choose one that you've already uploaded. Click on Set Featured Image, and voila, your featured image is now there for everybody to see. Obviously, you want to make sure these featured images aren't just eye-catching, but they're also relevant and high quality. It's just a little bonus tip. I also want to cover off a couple of things that can be confusing. The first one is thumbnail versus featured image. What's the difference? Well, there isn't one. <laughs> People interchange thumbnail and featured image, mainly because places like YouTube, for example, we have featured images, but they're called thumbnails. On WordPress, on your blog, they're called featured images. That's the official term, but it gets used interchangeably with thumbnail and hey, it's not a big deal. Featured image versus cover image though, those are two different things that can sometimes get confused. A cover image is used within your post content. Often used to separate sections, it's like a little break within the text. A featured image, however, sits outside the post itself, usually at the top or alongside the title. So those are two different things. If you are just getting started on your WordPress blog journey and you're just collating knowledge, well, welcome do get subscribed to wp beginner and also check out this video right here which is going to help you set up your blog step by step